My name is Brad Duhon. I'm a neurosurgeon in South Denver, Colorado. Uh, my area of expertise and specialty is minimally invasive spine surgery as well as spinal trauma. I see SI joint pain as coming from two broad categories, uh, the first of which being trauma. So SI joints can be injured from motor vehicle accidents, from falls, uh, and even from childbirth. Anything that transmits a sudden force down through the pelvis, the lower extremity, can put a lot of strain and injure the SI joint. The second broad category is degeneration. So degeneration is a normal age-related phenomenon in most of our joints. It's very well established that we develop arthritis in our hips, in our knees, and other joints of our body as we age. The good news with modern medicine is that we're living longer. The downside is that a lot of our joints are, are wearing out and breaking down as we age. One of the most common subset of that degeneration category would be after a lumbar fusion. So lumbar fusions have really exploded over the last few decades, and it's established that when you fuse a joint, you transmit more forces to the adjacent joints. Well, the SI joint is considered an adjacent segment, so it can degenerate, it can break down after a prior lumbar or lumbar sacral fusion.